How's it feel to be a Bulldog coach? Yeah, it's, um, it's been a pretty good start to the year for me. So, um, first time I'm going to be wearing the colours this weekend. So, I guess I'll get a bit, bit more of a gauge on um, the type of atmosphere and, the, you know, and, and just what it means to be a Bulldog then. And I guess for you, a bit more of a gauge on you know, your, your season ahead as well. Like One thing that got spoken a lot about was you know, how many guys the Bulldogs have that can play in different positions and you being one of those as well. Like, where, where do you want to play and want to be this year? Uh, I'm, I haven't really spoken too much about positions with Ciro a whole heap. Um, probably my biggest thing is I just want to be just contribute really, just just um, you know contribute consistently week in week week out to you know sort of what we're heading towards. There's been different times in your career when I guess you know you've you've done a preseason focusing on one position or you know like coaches have made the effort to put you in a certain role. Like you at the point now where. You know, you're a bit different to it. Like you just enjoy playing. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm the back end of my career, so I'm, you know, I'm trying to squeeze the lemon, I guess. You know, try to get as much out of it as I can. So I'm not too fast. So I, I'd like to play a bit of lock, bit a bit of hooker. You know, I'm not too fast where I play at the moment. Um, I think zeros across all that sort of stuff. And after this trial, leading into round one, I think the team will sort of start to you know figure itself out there. There's a lot of unknowns because there's so many new faces, but we get to look at what the team's probably going to look like in round one. Um, is there a, an air of excitement around the squad about being able to uh, to unleash your, your, your full team? Yeah, definitely. Um, now, last week we, we sat a, still had a few out last week, but um, they put in a pretty good performance last week, I think. And the fundamentals, the, the things that we were focusing on in that game, uh, I think they, they did those pretty well. So this week there's a few more boys back in and... It's pretty much back at full strength, so it's, it is pretty exciting to uh, all the stuff we've worked on in pre-season, just to see see where it's going to land us. You, you're obviously playing at somewhere like Newcastle, where you know a few lean years into they they rose to that sort of that golden run to the finals last year. Is is that something that you, you're hoping to replicate here at, at Canterbury? Because I mean, like we saw the Newcastle fans really get behind the Knights. You know, the Bulldogs obviously have a very big supporter base as well. Yeah, definitely. Um, I think the goal for any team is to win games of footy, and I think that's what we're going to try to do. So, whether or not it's a, a golden run home or just you know being consistent week in week out would probably be the main aim. But I'm sure with the the fan base they've got here and, and how passionate they are, they'd get behind us either way. Okay, I know there's a lot of questions about uh, Bronson Terry and whether he, when he came back in, whether he'd be able to recapture kind of the form and speed that we saw in the trial last week. He's still got it. What have you kind of what have you enjoyed watching most as a guy had to play against centres like that before? Um, mate, he's a he's an athlete. He's, he's a he's a proper freak athlete. So um, strong as fast. Um, he's got it all. And the thing that's probably impressed me most is just how dedicated he's been. You know, he's had that four years off and probably wanted to get away from footy for a little bit and was a bit unsure about it. But um, he's applied himself, and you know, it's showed on the weekend. The lads were talking about your versatility positions. I know you kind of carved out a niche for yourself. At and knew he played as a played as a lock. Do you see there's a benefit in maybe this club doesn't have the biggest pack in, in the in the NRL? Is there is there an advantage you can see see from that? Yeah, I think there's with the way the game's going, just the speed of it, it just keeps getting faster and faster every year. And uh, a couple more rule changes, it's probably going to be a little bit faster again. So I think gone are the days where you just have big tall timbers and and just a big pack. I think you got to have everyone's got to be a little bit more mobile and be able to move a lot quicker. Does that excite you? Yeah, definitely. That that suits me a lot better. I'm not the biggest body, so um, yeah, it's probably suit my game, and I think it will suit the pack that we have here as well, and the style of footy that we're probably looking at playing. Great. So, so,